What's up YouTube, Laughing Pikachu here. Welcome back to another Pokemon news update video. In today's video, we have a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. I don't even know where to start, to be honest. It's been a while since I have posted one of these videos. The reason for that is because over the past couple of weeks, they haven't really announced a lot of stuff. But today was the day they announced so much epicness. I am so excited to share this with you guys, but Collection Sun and Collection Moon, the set lists for these sets have begun to leak, and I am just beyond excited. So let me very quickly talk about these sets so that you guys, we can all make sure that we're on the same page for these things. Okay, so in Japan, this is going to be releasing as two separate sets. It's going to be releasing as Collection Sun and Collection Moon. This is going to be releasing on December the 9th in Japan, and then a couple of months afterwards in February, we will be getting this as one huge set, Collection Sun and Moon, like, base set in English. So that's how we're going to be seeing these sets. So in Japan, in December. In English, we're going to be seeing it in February. Okay, so now these cards. A lot of the cards that you see now will be making it into the English set. Now, the English set will likely have additional cards on top of the cards that you are seeing now. A lot of the different promo cards uh, that were once released in Japanese are probably going to be making it into the actual English set. Okay, so now let's talk about what cards we have. For these new Sun and Moon sets, they have announced that they will not be releasing EXs, they will not be releasing Breaks, they will not be releasing Megas. Instead, they will be releasing GXs, GX Full Arts, Trainer Full Arts, and a couple of Energy Full Arts as well. They're sort of like Energy Secret Rare cards, which I will be showing you guys in a second. So anyways, here's the very first GX cards. We will get Hollow Foil cards as well. So as you can see right here, here's an Arcanine Hollow. Beautiful, beautiful card. Um, but yeah, here's the first GX that comes in the set, the Lapras GX. Now, a lot of these GX cards, we have seen them before. Um, here's a new one for me, at least, an Espeon GX. Beautiful, beautiful card. I was kind of intrigued when they announced that there was going to be an Espeon GX and an Umbreon GX. Uh, because Espeon and Umbreon um, have gotten quite a bit of love uh, before in previous sets. Um, and then there's Pokemon such as, like, Leafeon, who has not gotten a single full art before. Or Vaporeon, which I think would have also been a great card to have gotten a full art. Or Jolteon full art. I don't know, I just, I feel like they're really missing out. Um, they're giving you know, specific Pokemon, lots and lots of love, and then other evolutions not getting equal amounts. But anyways, it is what it is. There's nothing that we can do about that. We also have a really cool Hollow uh, to Toxapex, I believe is how you say it. Uh, we also will be getting Alolan Pokemon in these sets. So, for example, as you can see on screen right now, we have an Alolan Meowth. There's also an Alolan Dugtrio. Uh, very, very interesting. And we also have Crocodile Hollow. And then we have the Solgaleo GX. Now, we previously saw this card released as a jumbo card in English in the Alolan collection boxes, um, but to get this card in its like regular size, um, at the moment, the only way you can get it is in the actual sets. Now, I will be mentioning a little bit later, but they have announced that they're going to be releasing tens of these things with alternate arts. Um, but yeah, I will get to that when we get to it. Let me just quickly talk about the actual set first, because... Like I said, there's lots of stuff to go through. Anyways, I'm not going to show off every single holo. I feel like that would take too long. If you would like to see the entire set list, read what the attacks do, all of that stuff, you can check out pokebeach.com. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. But overall, there's just a great news website that I would recommend that you guys go check out. Here's another GX card that we will be getting, a Gumshoes GX. Now, all of these GX cards will be getting GX full art cards as well. So here is where the awesomeness begins. Here is our very first full art card as far as, like, set order is concerned a Lapras GX full art. Beautiful, beautiful card. Now it does look like that the hollow pattern is not going to be the same hollow pattern that we typically see. You can kind of see like the the, the like light reflect blah, 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 blah. the light like reflecting and reflecting and I don't know science, but you know, it, you can tell just by the picture that it's a little bit of a different hollow foil pattern than we are used to seeing. And it's not like the typical hollow pattern on the GX cards either. Like, it's like a completely new hollow pattern. Not entirely sure what it is, what it's going to look like, because this is a picture, it's on a video, so it's kind of hard to picture it. Um, but yeah, I will be getting some of these cards in, hopefully. Um, hopefully I will pull some of them, that would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, and we also get an Espeon GX Full Art. Now again, like I said, we got an Espeon Full Art before, and in a second I'll be showing you an Umbreon Full Art as well. We got that before as well, so I was kind of disappointed that they didn't do something like a Jolteon Full Art, or a Vaporeon Full Art, or I don't know. There's just, there's so many cool Full Arts out there that 
Um, they, they could have picked, and I'm kind of disappointed that they're repeating cards, but still, there's nothing to complain about. There are too many awesome cards in these sets to be complaining. I just, I can't do it. This is a fantastic set. Um, here is a look at the Solgaleo GX Full Art, as well as the Gumshoes GX Full Art. Now, we also do get Trainer Full Art cards, which is very exciting. We have an Ilma, I believe that's how you say it. Um, and then we also have Professor Kuk Kukui. Um, these are Sun and Moon Trainers. And then here is where the interesting stuff comes in. So they're like super secret rares are going to be these things. So let me go ahead and pull up the other Lapras and bring that down real quick. Um, but yeah, we are going to be getting two different full art card versions. And I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments. Um, because I know some of you guys are really going to like it. And then there's other gonna, there's going to be other people out there who are not a huge fan of it. Because essentially they're like two of the exact same cards just with different foil patterns on them. As you can see, this one is going to sort of resemble the classic foil pattern texture. It's going to have texture. It's going to have all that stuff. And then these over here are not going to have any sort of foil pattern, I think. Or not any like texture or anything like that. It's going to have foil, but it's not going to have the texture of typical full art cards. Um, so I think it's going to be interesting. So these are supposed to be harder to pull than these over here. Um, but yeah, so all of the Pokemon full art cards did get these like full art secret rare sort of cards. I don't really know what to call these things. I do want to say that this one looks beautiful. A lot of these cards are like a lot more rainbowy. Like I don't really know how to explain how they look. They're just like rainbowy. Like that's a terrible explanation. Um, but I do want to say this. They do look like I don't know if you guys have seen videos before where people open up fake Pokemon cards and they have these like crazy rainbowish hollow patterns, but that's what they kind of look like. So with that being said, I'm kind of concerned about that. People might begin to mistake these cards as fake cards or people might begin to mistake fake cards as like actual cards. So I don't know. We just got to be careful about that. Um, But these should have texture on them, which is very exciting. Also, here is possibly one of the most, ex like people are so excited about this. We, are we will be getting a full art Ultra Ball it, this is just, this is so cool. It's going to be a secret rare in Sun and Moon, and this is from Collection Sun, and it's just, it's, it makes the old Ultra Ball look like trash. Like, this thing looks beautiful. They're changing up the way trainers, the secret rare gold border trainers are made. We are also getting a Rotom Pokedex gold trainer, and before, the trainer cards just had, like, a gold border and then the classic, like, like, tiny little picture with maybe, like, a Pokeball, like, engraved in or something like that, but now we are getting, like, full art pictures of these things, and I am so pleased with how they did them. I am, I don't know, I just, I really, really like what they did with these things. Um, now we're getting into the other set, Collection Moon. We have a Lorantis GX, and I'm going to move a little bit faster because we are already seven minutes into the video. There's quite a few things I want to talk about. Again, the Lunala GX is in the Collection Moon, obviously. Then we also have an Umbreon GX, which looks a lot better than the Espeon GX, in my opinion. Um, we also get a card that I'm really excited about, a Dragonite Hollow. The artwork is a little bit interesting, but overall, I really like it. I, I just, I like what they did with these. We also get a Tauros GX. Um, this was a card uh, not, not a lot of people were really expecting, but I'm really excited that they got to make this a card um and then here are the full art cards now personally i like collection sun a little bit better i think they did a better job with the full arts but all of them look fantastic i think overall i believe collection sun will sell better because we do have the full art ultra ball thing in that and that's going to be a very very expensive card uh, but here are some new trainer cards um, we have a Lily, or I believe that's how you say it, I'm not entirely sure. And then again, we have the Full Art Secret Rare Rainbow Shininess. I'm sure they will come out with more official names for these things, but at the moment, that's what I'm going to be calling them, so judge me because I deserve to be judged. Also, we will be getting some new trainer cards. Um, so we will be getting a Nest Ball. That's what this is. I don't really know if it's going to be super playable. If it does end up working really well with decks, then it might become just as expensive as the Ultra Ball, if not even more expensive. And then we also have a Switch. Now, this is something really interesting. This is labeled as number 73 in the set. I don't think they're going to be doing this for the entire set. I believe it's just like, I don't think every energy is going to be getting a secret rare golden energy. Maybe they might release, like, one of these for, you know, all of the Sun and Moon sets. And so by the end, by the time we have gotten through all of the Sun and Moon sets, maybe we'll have all of these secret rare energies. But at the moment, they have only announced a psychic secret rare energy. But it looks very nice. Um, also, we've got a couple of pictures from the theme decks. For once, Japanese gonna, is going to be... In Japan, they're going to be releasing some really cool theme decks um, featuring these GX cards. And for English, we will not be getting these GX cards as the promo cards in the theme decks. So we will be seeing these cards in the actual English set. Um, so there's that. Also, a couple of other promo cards released in other boxes. We do have this Pikachu Hollow, And then... 
We got the Flying Pikachu, which we saw in Evolutions, but in Japan they did not get that in their Evolution set. And then we also have this beautiful Holo card as well. Um, also, they have announced that they're going to be releasing some sort of Sun and Moon Strengthening Expansion pack which is supposed to be releasing january the 17th of 2017 and it's going to feature some sort of full art trainer card or not feature like if you purchase it then you get this as a promo sort of similar to the promotions that they did in japan for the professor sycamore and the steven full art stuff like that i'm assuming we will be seeing this actual card in the sun and moon set but i am not 100 percent sure i guess time will tell um, obviously this is just a, like, a, a, a sample picture. This is not what the card is actually going to look like. Once we get actual pictures of the cards, I will be sure to let you guys know. Here is what all of the theme decks look like. Let me try to get the, the third and final one. Um, but as you can see, we will not be getting the GX cards as promo cards in English. Um, the GX cards are going to be actually incorporated into the set. They do have full deck lists of all this stuff, so if you would like to see it, you can check it out in the the description or at pokebeach.com and like i said they will be uh, including alolan pokemon in the sun and moon set as well which is very exciting again here's just some looks at some of the other pokemon i sort of pointed these out now here's the interesting thing so solgaleo gx and lunala gx we are going to be getting them in the actual sun and moon set um but on top of that they're going to be releasing alternate arts with the exact same tax or at least people are thinking they're going to be the exact same attacks but as actual tins which is going to be kind of interesting. Um, I don't really know how people are going to react to that. I know that before, uh, when we saw like Steam Siege release, um, shortly after, that was the set with like Volcanion and Magirna, and shortly after that we saw the tins released with the Volcanion EX10 and Magirna EX10, um, and they had the exact same attacks but different art. Um, so I'm not sure if that's what they're going for for these, um, but I guess time will tell. I'm actually really looking forward to these tins though, but they're supposed to be releasing on March the 17th, so a little bit like around a month after that, the actual set releases in English. Also, on April the 19th of 2017, they will be releasing this thing. This is going to be called a Sun and Moon Strengthening Expansion Pack, and in these packs, you get some packs, you get some full art promos, or not full art promos, I don't know, they haven't really announced what the promos are, but they've got these things. There's just so much cool stuff. This is going to be some sort of like CP, this is sort of similar to like CP4, CP5, those sorts of sets, that's what I'm seeing for these, but we are not entirely sure um, but yeah, lots of fun stuff. I just, I can't wait. Anyways, as more information is released about these stuff, I, I will be sure to keep you guys updated. Also, they have announced a Giratina, like, sort of blister pack. Um, they've announced this for a while now, but I didn't want to make a whole video just talking about it. Um, but yeah, it's a very interesting promo card. If you would like to read, you can pause the video right here, but there are the attacks right here. Um, it's going to be interesting. Uh, it's definitely changing up the way the TCG is played. Um, and, but in these, we do get packs of Roaring Skies, which is very, very nice. Not every day we get some or Roaring Skies packs. Also, they have already announced what the next Sun and Moon set is going to look like. Um, so you can kind of think of this next Sun and Moon set as sort of like how when in English we had the X and Y base set, and then after that we had X and Y base flash fire. So this is sort of like the flash fire equivalent. So like of the Sun and Moon series, this is like the second generation of the Sun and Moon series. Um, but this is what they're going to look like, and I think they're really interesting. Um, as you can see, here's what the theme decks look like, and then we got we're going to be getting sleeves and deck boxes as usual. Um, so yeah, this is going to be releasing March the 13th of 2017, and uh, yeah, as more information comes from those things, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. Also, I talked this about this in the last video, but I just want to remind you guys that they're also going to be releasing Sun and Moon blister packs. Um, I'm assuming that we will be getting these cards. Um, as actual cards in the set for English. Um, but yeah, they're going to be releasing three different versions of this. Very very cool. All right. That is everything. Um, that's like all the new stuff at least. Again, there's a looks at all of the different promo cards. I sort of went over this before. Um, also, they have... Oh, this is kind of new. Pokemon is moving to Disney DX with the debut they, with the debut of Vol the Volcanion and Magirna movie, which is actually kind of cool. Um, so if any of you guys watch that, um, make sure you go check it out because that would be pretty cool. Anyways, um, as far as other products... Again, just a reminder, none of this is like super new information, but we do have the Arcanine Break box, as well as uh, the Magirna Mythical Collection boxes and the Volcanion Mythical Collection boxes um, that we'll be releasing soon. Alright, now let's get into shoutouts. If you would like a shoutout, all you have to do is subscribe, like, comment, that is it, and you're going to be entered to win a free shoutout. Uh, today's shoutouts, I'm actually going to do four since it's been so long since I have um, done shoutouts and done news update videos. I wanted to do as many as possible. So here are four shoutouts for today's video. First one, Adam the Collector, really cool person. First of all, his thumbnails, I don't know who does them, like if he does them himself, but they look fantastic. Uh, next up, I want to give a shoutout to Pokemon Life. This person does like a lot of like vlogs and stuff like that. I don't know, it's, it's really, really cool, very nice of them, very awesome 
awesome channel. Next up, Mr. Mewtwo. He's really cool. He opened up the legendary battle decks, which are such, such cool products. And the final person is um, Sarah Frim. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, um, but it looks like they recently opened up a Mega Salamance box, so make sure you go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this video was a bit longer than usual, but yeah, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!